Ladies and gentlemen, how in the world did I forget? No, I erased the video because I didn't forget to say it because I remember all that I said. But I erased the video that actually speaks to... My head looks terrible in this light. Ooh. Look like a dry at Rasta. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so, I erase the video that explains the second half of my experience at Pearson Airport. I don't know what happened to that video. At any rate, that definitely had to be two parts. So this is the second part. This is continuation from part three. So this is part four, part five, AKA four, okay? Um, so after I saw the hotel lady um, at the makeshift table, this is where like this is the immigration area so after this you go get your luggage right so i came up to this guy you show him that receipt that um and your passport show him your receipt that has the ink that's running out and you can't really see your face the black and white sheet of paper you don't even know what's the use of that anyways he looks at that marks it can i see your passport okay fine so i pass him and um at that time there was like three guys in front of me. I felt like they were going to ambush me. Like they were all standing around me and I was like this, like what the heck? It was only me at the time. It, as I said, Pearson Airport is basically empty. So it's me and then maybe somebody else is about to come behind me like 15 meters away, okay? But all of them are standing there like in front of me. I'm like, what the? So I go get my luggage now. The turnstile already stopped. My one bag is on one end, the other bag is on the other end. And I'm like, gosh, I took that long. So I called my mom, I said, okay, you can come and get me. Completely forgetting I have to take the COVID test. But even if, how long is a COVID test, right? So anyways, I tell her, okay, you can come get me now. So I walked through, I put away my passport because once you get your luggage, you don't need your passport again, right? I go through, give my receipt now to the person who takes it, pass him. I'm now going through the hallway to the door that leads out to where the people are waiting for you and like, hey, oh, welcome back, all this stuff. As I get down the hallway to the door, there's like five ladies standing there and one of them turns to me and says, can I see your passport? I'm like, you need to see my passport? She's like, yeah. Okay. So I show her my passport. And I don't know if they're looking at the sticker. By this time, I don't even know what they're looking at, why she needed to see my passport, to be honest with you. But as soon as the door opened, all I'm seeing is pure signage, signage, yellow, caution, this, that sign, and all kind of thing. It's the COVID, it's the testing area. The area where we used to wait and, you know, call to our family, that's the testing area. So I come out now, I go into the line, which only had three people, and this girl asked me to see my passport. I'm like, but, sure, my passport. Then she asked me on this board, written out, have you registered for Switch Health? I'm like, I have to download another app? She's like, no, you just have to register. You just have to go on the website. I said, are you serious right now? So she's like, yeah, it doesn't take long. It's a good thing we never listened to her. So I called my mom back. I said, listen, don't rush to come and get me because there's a whole process I have to go through to get this test done. I'm like, just don't rush. So I went into the, this uh, website on my phone. I'm putting in all the information. I have to put in like you have to put in um sin and 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 what your sin number, I believe, and um your I think your flight. I can't remember if your flight, but I had to put in my I think my passport number and then my health card number. And I was like, my health card. I'm like, dang man. So she's like, oh, just put you have no health card. I'm like, okay. So I just did that. So I'm standing there in line waiting and there's the, like these booths that are in front of us. Not really booths, but kind of desks with computers on it and people are wearing like, they're all wearing like kind of a hazmat -ish off ish something, you know, you know, the, the hospital gown kind of thing. Okay, so they're wearing that. So I'm like thinking, okay, this is where I'm getting my test. So I go up to the girl. 
I took like maybe six steps, five, five steps the most. And the lady asked me for my passport. I'm like, what? Oh, can I see your passport? I'm like, why? She's like, to verify, I just need to verify your name and your your um, your um, birth date that's on this sticker. I'm like, fine, show it to her. Then she turns back around and I'm just standing there because of all the steps and the hassle and my passport and all this stuff. I was getting annoyed now and I was mumbling to myself and this guy was passing that works there and he turned around and he said, I'm sorry, pardon me? He thought I was talking to him. And I said, no, I was just talking to myself and just saying, you know what, this is a huge hassle. Like who would want to come to Canada right now? Who would want to even go through this? He's like, I know, I know, it's a lot. It really is. I said, yeah, it is, man. I said, you go to the States, you don't have nothing close to this. This is a lot. So anyway, she turns around, she gives me the package with my sticker on it, with the test in it, and says, okay, go over there and get tested. I said, I don't get tested here. She's like, oh no. So I go over now around the corner where the booths are. The guy looks at my passport again and says, okay, you can go to that lady there, a Jamaican lady who was, I look a bit too rough in a minute. I look a bit too rough in a minute. And before that, nothing was wrong. I have allergies. I didn't, when I blew, nothing came out. It was dry, everything. After I did the test, my eyes are water and my eyes was burning and my nose was running. I had to blow my nose. So as I get up now to come out the booth to push my cart, because I just want to get out and blow my nose, as soon as I get up, I have one person on my right, one person on my left talking to me. I'm like, what, huh, hmm? what? what, 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 with the tissue on my nose. One is trying to give me the day eight kit and the test kit, and the other one is trying to see my passport. So I grab the kit, throw it in the in the cart, and then he wants to see my passport. I let him look at the passport. You want to put a sticker on it. Then as I'm going, I'm like, finally, I'm free. I can go out the door. I see the doors. But before the doors, I see these four officers by the door, security officers for the hotel, for the airport. One of them turns to me. I said, let me guess. You want to see my passport. Here it is. You see it? You see it? I said, what? Do you want me to open it? And they're like, they're like, no. I said, so this suffice? They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I said, um, they said, okay, go to the next doors. I said, I can't go through these doors. No, you have to go through the next doors. I said, is there somebody there too? Can I put my passport away? They're like, yeah, you can. I was so annoyed with the amount of times. We're all in the same area, you know. I was asked to see my passport five times in the same damn area, in the same room. That area where you greeting everybody and welcoming them back. So luckily, as soon as I got out the door, nobody asked me for my passport. That was the last of it. So right up to where you're walking out the door, they want to see your passport. And you have to um, uh, register for Switch Health. So some of you guys watched my part four and probably saying Switch Health. And, you know, some stuff. So day eight kit, yes, you get your day eight kit at the airport and switch health, you register. That's where that comes in. It's cray cray, okay? It's too much. It, it really is. I got annoyed and they could see that and they didn't even respond to it because I'm sure they know. Like every spot, you have like three, four, maybe five people standing there. And I get, you know, when you have a huge... Um, when you have a, a whole flight that comes in and you have to line out yourself. But I mean, come on. Everybody has to turn and make me feel intimidated. I stood there looking at them like, vex. <laughs> Anyways, that is it at the airport. It's two-part story. Oh my, I don't know what happened to my video. But anyways, you're informed now.